hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make you some jerk tilapia fish so these are all my ingredients that i'm gonna use so this is my seasoning so here i have some seasoned salt and i also have some fish seasoning some garlic powder some black pepper some onion powder some parsley and this is one teaspoonful and i also have some all-purpose seasoning and some jerk seasoning and this is one spoonful okay and i'm also gonna have some vegetable oil this is around two spoonful this is all my herbs so here i have some thyme some fresh thyme and I also have some spring onions, some scotch bonnet pepper, some pimento seed. This is like one teaspoonful of pimento seed, some ginger, and some garlic. So this is my tilapia. This is what it look like. Guys, it is so big. <laughs> I like my fish big and full of flesh, okay? so i'm using three okay so i already wash it guys i wash my fish with lemon and with vinegar and i cut i cut right here of my fish so the seasoning will get right through it so i cut both sides so i'm just gonna show you how i do it like so do the next part as well don't do it deep guys like so so now i'm gonna season my fish now so i'm just gonna blend all my seasoning together and i'm gonna also pour my vegetable oil because i'm making like a paste Just stir it with your hands. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take my fish and just make sure you get the seasoning right inside of your fish, like so. Just make sure the seasoning get on every part of the fish as much as possible. And I'm also going to use some bottle jerk seasoning. So that's the brand that I'm going to use. You can get it from your Caribbean shop, even online. I'm going to use just one spoonful, guys, because you don't need a lot, okay? So I'm just going to use one spoonful, because this is very hot. So just pour it all over. I'm going to take my hands, but it's best you use our gloves, guys. Because it is very spicy. So if you can use a gloves, do use a gloves, okay? Mmm, that jerk seasoning smells so good. So 
so guys it is finished seasoning now so now guys i'm gonna stuff my fish so here i have a big tray right here because you're gonna need something big so you can rest your fish on it so So now I'm going to get my thyme. And you're going to stuff it like so. And also put your garlic this is such a nice recipe guys it is really good I'm gonna also put your ginger and your pimento seed And I'm gonna also add my scotch bonnet pepper, but I'm not gonna add a lot of scotch bonnet pepper because you know scotch bonnet pepper is very hot. So I'm just gonna add just pieces. Like so. And I'm gonna also add some fresh lemon. I'm gonna add like about well, two of it. So this is what it look like. So now I'm gonna put it in my oven, guys, and 150 degree for at least 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes on each side and 20 minutes on the next side okay so here i have a tray and to my tray i add a grill because i'm gonna grill my fish okay basically and i also add some baking paper so i'm just gonna aisle my grill so the fish doesn't stick just oil it And I'm gonna also add some water because I don't want my fish to dry out. So I'm just gonna add some water. And now I'm gonna place my fish on my rock. Like so. Like so. like so so see you back So I just removed my fish from the oven and this is what it look like. I'm going to put it back in my oven for 15 minutes and 150 degree because I want the top of my fish to be golden. And off camera guys, I add at least one spoonful of chili seed on my fish. So that's what it look like. So I'm just going to pour some more vegetable oil on top of my fish. So it's staying nice and moist. So I just removed my fish from the oven and it's been cooking just over 15 minutes. 
so this is what it look like guys it smells so good it smells really good what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it now because I want the next side to cook you know Just turn it like so. So you see that part or white it is? I need that part to be nice and golden, okay? So this is what it look like after I turned it. So what I'm gonna do, cause it look a bit white, I'm gonna add some more of my bottle jerk seasoning on top of it. So I just removed my fish from the oven guys and this is what it look like guys it looks so good and it smell amazing so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make just a sauce for my fish so I will show you okay so stay tuned so I'm just gonna make my sauce guys so here I have some barbecue sauce. This is HP barbecue sauce. And I'm just gonna pour some in this bowl that I have. Around that amount, not a lot. And I'm also gonna add some parsley. I'm also gonna add some parsley, some jerk seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning this is like half a teaspoonful guys not a lot just gonna give it a stir this is just gonna give it so much more flavor But you can use whatever barbecue sauce you have, okay? But I choose to use this barbecue sauce because it's my favorite one. So now I'm going to add my barbecue sauce to my fish. Like so. And I'm gonna put it back in my oven for at least five minutes five to seven minutes So this is what it look like up close guys. Isn't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely delicious. I'm so happy. So I just removed my fish from the oven and this is what it look like. I just decorated it with some pepper because I thought it looked so pretty. Guys, it looks so good. I hope you do try this recipe. And if you do enjoy it, please comment below. I'm going to plate it up for you and show you how it looks like on the plate. So as you can see, I'm just serving my fish now. And I'm having it with some plain basmatic rice, with some fried plantain, with some salad, and with corn. You can serve it with whatever you preferred. Please like, share to your family, to your friend. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye.